Mr. Speaker, perhaps the greatest challenge Israel and the United States face at this time together is the Iranian nuclear program. Let there be no doubt, Iran does not strive to attain nuclear energy for peaceful purposes. Iran... Iran is building nuclear capabilities that pose a threat to the stability of the Middle East and beyond. Every country or region controlled or infiltrated by Iran has experienced utter havoc. We have seen this in Yemen, in Gaza, in Syria, in Lebanon, in Iraq. In fact, we have seen this in Iran itself, where the regime has lost its people and is suppressing them brutally. Iran has spread hatred, terror, and suffering throughout the Middle East and beyond, adding fuel to the disastrous fire and suffering in Ukraine. Iran is the only nation on the planet publicly calling, plotting, and developing means to annihilate another nation and members of the family of nations, the State of Israel. Israel has no border with Iran. Israel has no resources contested by Iran. Israel has no conflict with the Iranian people. And yet, the Iranian regime, together with its proxies throughout the Middle East, is aiming and working towards destroying the state of Israel, killing the Jews, and challenging the entire world, the entire free world. Allowing Iran to become a nuclear threshold state, whether by omission or by diplomatic commission, is unacceptable. <laughs> The world cannot remain indifferent to the Iranian regime's call to wipe Israel off the map. Tolerating this call and Iran's measures to realize it is an excusable moral collapse. Backed by the free world, Israel and the United States must act forcefully together to prevent Iran's fundamental threat to international security. I am here to reiterate what every Israeli leader has declared for decades. The State of Israel is determined to prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapon capabilities.